ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் ஐ வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் டு மை செகண்ட் லெக்சர் ஆன் லேடர் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் இன் திஸ் லெக்சர் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் அ ப்ராப்ளம் ஆன் லேடர் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் ஏ எயிட் மீட்டர் லாங் லேடர் ரெஸ்ட்ஸ் அகேன்ஸ் அ வெர்டிக்கல் வால் மேக்கிங் அன் ஆங்கிள் ஆஃப் ஃபிஃப்டி டிகிரி வித் அ வால் அண்ட் ரெஸ்டிங் ஆன் அ ஃப்ளோர் இஃப் அ பாய் ஹூஸ் வெயிட் இஸ் ஒன் ஹாஃப் தட் ஆஃப் த லேடர் கிளைம்ஸ் இட் அட் வாட் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் அலாங் த லேடர் will he be when the ladder is about to slip the coefficient of friction between the ladder and the wall is 1 by 3 and that between the ladder and the floor is 1 by 2 okay in the problem the drawing is not given but for our simplicity let us construct a simple drawing first a ladder of total length 8 meter rests against a vertical wall making an angle of 50 degree so the angle is given from the wall okay in the previous problem we have taken the angle from the floor so let us calculate the angle from the floor so the overall angle is 180 degree so 180 minus 90 minus 50 we will get 40 degree okay the ladder weight will be acting at the center so the weight of the ladder is w and it is acting at a distance of 4 meter okay a boy whose weight of 1 half that of the ladder climbs it at what distance along the ladder will he be when the ladder is about to slip okay so here the distance of the boy is not given so i'm going to consider the weight as w by 2 because the weight is half of the ladder weight and let us consider the position of the boy as l okay so we will consider the position as l then uh, the coefficient of friction between the ladder and the wall is 1 by 3 so the ladder and wall it is 1 by 3 here it is 0.33 and between the ladder and the floor is 1 by 2 so here it is 0.5 okay so now we will draw the free body diagram we have two contact surfaces namely a and b so both the contact surfaces are rough because of the friction between these two contact surface there will be a normal reaction let us name it as rn a and if the ladder is about to slip then the b will be moving in the positive x direction and the a will be moving in the negative y direction so the frictional force will be in the opposite direction so this is fsa and this fsa is equal to mu into rna so that is equal to 0.33 rna similarly at the point b the normal reaction will be acting in the upward direction r and b since the point b is moving towards right side the frictional force will be acting in the left side so it is fsb and this is equal to mu into r and b so it is 0.5 into r and b so here the mu and the length and delta is given we have to find out the value of l okay so we will start from uh, summation of horizontal forces is equal to 0 so here the r and a is acting in the positive x direction so r and a and this fsb that is 0.5 r and b is acting in the negative direction so minus 0.5 r and b is equal to 0 further the r and a is equal to 0.5 r and b keep this as equation number 1 then write summation of vertical forces is equal to 0 this 0.33 r and a is acting in the upwards direction that is fsa is acting in the upwards direction so it is 0.33 r and a so i have replaced the fsa by 0.33 r and a then this r and b is also acting in the 
upper direction so r and b and the w by 2 is acting in the downward direction so minus w by 2 here also the w is acting in the negative direction so minus w is equal to 0 so from the equation 1 we already have the value for r and a that is 0 0.5 r and b let us substitute the r and a value here so it is 0 0.33 into 0 0.5 r and b plus r and b then minus 1.5 w is equal to 0 further if you solve the equation 1.165 r and b is equal to bring the w to the right hand side we will get 1.5 w okay then uh, further if you solve this equation the r and b is equal to 1.288 w ok so this is our equation number 2 now you can substitute the equation number 2 in equation 1 and you can calculate the value for r and a r and a is equal to 0 0.5 r and b so if you substitute uh, the value of r and b in this equation we will get r and a is equal to 0.644 w so this is equation number 3 so we are going to solve the problem in terms of w the third condition is summation of moment about point b point b is equal to 0 summation of moment about point b is equal to 0 so before this you must calculate the perpendicular distance of w w l by w by 2 and the r and a so now i am going to extend this line and let us name it as a b we have c d e f and g if you consider this triangle g c b then c b is equal to CB is equal to 4 cos 40. Then, if you consider the next triangle, DB is equal to L cos 40. Then, the third triangle, overall triangle, EB is equal to the overall triangle, the hypotenuse is 8. 8 cos 40 degree and AE so here AE is the opposite side so AE is 8 sin 40 degree so in the previous lecture I have clearly explained to you why we are calculating this and how to calculate the CB uh, DB and AE ok so now we will calculate the moment about point B is equal to 0 consider clockwise is positive ok so here the R and B and FSB is acting at point B so there will be no perpendicular distance so we can neglect these two forces the next force is W the W is acting with the perpendicular distance CB and if you fix the point B and if you apply W in this direction then it will rotate in counterclockwise so it is minus W into CB then the next force is W by 2. So if you fix the point B and if you apply a force W by 2 then it will rotate in the counterclockwise direction. So here also it is minus W by 2 into B B. Then consider FSA. Fix the point B and if you apply FSA in this direction then it will rotate in clockwise direction. So here it is plus FSA into EB then the R and A if you fix the point B and apply a force R and A then it will rotate in the clockwise direction so plus R and A into EA is equal to 0 we know the value for CB, DB, EB and AE let us substitute that so here it is minus W into 4 cos 
40 degree minus 0 0.5 W into TB is L cos 40 degree plus FSA is 0 0.33 into RNA so 0 0.33 into RNA into EB is 8 cos 40 degree then plus RNA into EA is 8 sin 40 degree is equal to 0 ok so now from the equation 2 and 3 we already have the value for R and B and R and A so let us substitute that here minus W into 4 cos 40 degree minus 0 0.5 W into L cos 40 degree plus 0 0.33 into R and A is 0 0.644 W so 0 0.644 w 8 cos 40 degree plus again r and a is 0 0.644 w 0 0.644 w into 8 sin 40 degree is equal to 0 ok so now sub divide this overall equation by w so divided by w this will be neglected neglected the w and this W will be neglected. Now, if you keep the L in the left side and if you bring the remaining terms to the right side, you will get a equation like this minus 0 0.383 L is equal to minus 1.5498. Okay, if you solve this equation, then you will get a final solution like this. From here, the L is equal to 4.05 meter ok so now if the boy is at a distance of 4.05 meter the ladder is at the state of impending that is it is about to slip thank you